we started this early June, uh, we were looking at about 250 corn flies per side per hour. So that's 500 flies total. We see some variations with the weather. Of course, as it got drier uh, into July and August, we saw some times when it would just, the numbers would naturally decrease. Jasper County is when we started with the vet gun. Now, if you've never seen the vet gun, it is almost like a paintball gun that you shoot your cow with. And it does decrease the population drastically, and almost instantly. Um, you can shoot them with that vet gun, 24 hours later, you go out back out there and the flies are gone. The best part about the vet gun is it was easy. Boom, 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 I'm done. The downside is you still got to get your cattle up to do it. You're not going to ride through the pasture <coughs> on, a, on your four-wheeler and hit them. And unless you're a really good shot, you will miss. <laughs> And if you get further from me to about John Phillips there, um, it will roll off that cow. So, and you do have to have multiple applications of it during the summer. When you're depending on it to make your living or to make money raising cattle, it may not be very conducive to your tax um, or your pocketbook. Ear tags, we've all used ear tags. Most of us have not used them correctly. If you read on the package, most of them require two ear tags per cow. Most of us book one because it's cheaper. You can see the kind of control. This was in Bacon County. I have a hard time believing that they went from you know, 275 corn flies per side down to zero and it stayed at zero. I wasn't the one doing those counts. Fly populations will fluctuate. Uh, those ear tags, they're great. We all used them. But the fly population is still going to fluctuate with them some, especially if you're, you wait till late in the season, the tags are wearing off. Yeah, you can put an ear tag in and it's going to keep some of the flies down. But if you know, we're not all proactive in it, as far as you know, controlling the population of horn flies, we're not going to do it. They had a lot of fits. He ripped several ears um, with that method. Hired hand, you see, so they took it out and they set it in with a front end loader. Um, kind of put it in a gap. The, the wings on the, the hired hand expand. It'll fill a gap, fill the tank. The Promethean 10%, we mixed it up, one jug of that, do pretty much all summer. Um, when you, if you mix it up and just run it as you need it. That's the different angles in the spray them underneath, on top, side by side. Well, after the, the chemical washes off the cattle, but with that I go out there and I flip the switch and turn it back on. With the bait gun I have to go out there and shoot every one of them again. You, it's got to work for your situation. And I, that's the, the gist of what we got. We've done this research for two summers now. It's just a realization for me. Every dog can bite, every horse can buck, and every cow can kick. Your fly control is only as good as your neighbor's.